Hi, so I was on Twitter, which is already a bad <laughs> start to this. Is it a bad intro if I just talk and say that I couldn't think of a good song for the intro? And I saw Boston from Boston Reads Books was talking about doing an impromptu 24 hour readathon and asked if anyone was planning on partaking or willing to partake. And I was like, that sounds fucking dope because November's been a fucky reading month for me. And something like this to inspire me to read and to read with a bunch of people sounded super fun. So I'm now in a group message on Twitter with um, 48 other people. I'm gonna start at midnight because fuck sleep. I have work tomorrow from 9.30 to 6. I am going to a Street Fighter tournament with Ian in the evening. And I'm gonna read for 24 hours. Um, my reading plans, first off, are to finish Called on the Hawk because I have a hundred and like 20 something pages left of this. <laughs> and then I also have Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom on audiobook. And I want to reread Six of Crows and then read Crooked Kingdom. And I want to use the audiobooks because I want to cross stitch. Currently it is 9.05, so I have two hours and 55 minutes until the reading will commence. So I'm gonna practice a little bit of self-care. I'm gonna wash my face. I'm gonna put on some comfy clothes. I'm gonna watch a little bit of booktube and get myself amped up and ready to read. I haven't done a readathon in a really long time. I haven't done a 24 hour readathon in forever. So doing something impromptu and fun sounds really great. And just to be able to talk to some people in this book group chat for two hours before we start is gonna be dope. So I'm gonna practice a little bit of self care. Yeah. Hello. It is 11.50. I've been editing. Here you do a little spin. And I almost have this video finished, which is dope. I don't know if it'll be ready by midnight. I'm gonna shoot for that, but once that's done and exported, I'm gonna make my coffee and start reading. So, yeah. So fingers crossed I can get it done by midnight. Ah! All right, I did it. The video is exporting and I only missed out on like 20 minutes of the readathon. A little bit longer because I'm gonna make coffee. Coffee montage? Picking a mug is always a sacred moment. I feel like this one is fitting. Also, yes, that is garlic. <laughs> and this is where editing Morgan realizes that her arm is in the goddamn frame of this entire coffee pour, making it worthless! Now I have my coffee, so now I'm going to read. I have... 120 something pages of Call on the Hawk left so I definitely think I can finish that in like roughly an hour and a half but I have a whole French press worth of coffee to get me through it. I have to carry this without dropping my coffee or my camera. This is a bad decision. I'm going to go back and start over. It is 12.45. 45 minutes later and I'm finally starting to read. That's fine. It's cool. I will talk to you once I finish Cut on the Hawk. Update, the only reason I'm not taking cute clips of me reading is because I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> it is 3.18 a.m. and I finished Cut on the Hawk. And I have many feelings about it. The main one being that I fucking loved it and I hate that I have to wait forever for the second book, not forever. Probably like a year, maybe longer than a year. I don't really know, Maggie's never really said when book two's coming out. But anyway, I can't tell you the last time I read the first book in a series upon publication and had to wait for the second book in the series. I'm also very tired and can't really form cohesive thoughts because I've been crying for the past, like, Okay, I can't do that bit anymore of the book on my head. I was crying for the last, like, 40 pages. So... I... 
is getting five stars even if the ending wasn't ideal and I'll like it more once I have the next book in my hand but other than that I loved it and I bawled my eyes out and I can't believe fucking Maggie Steve Otter made me care this much about Declan goddamn Lynch I just can't believe it but I have work at 9 30 and I'm tired <laughs> so I'm gonna go to bed Ian still isn't home from work yet and I'm grumpy I shouldn't have stayed up this late. I work in six hours. I am Boo Boo the Fool. <laughs> Hello. It's like 6.30. <laughs> I just got home from work. I have a Street Fighter tournament in three hours. So I am going to cross stitch and listen to Six of Crows. But before I do that, I got book mail, so I'm gonna open this on camera. Cause why the fuck not? I don't really care about the lighting being like perfect or anything, but I was subscribed to Book of the Month, but then I wasn't reading as fast as I sh like need to be to be acquiring like a new book every month. But I called and canceled <laughs> because you have to call to cancel your subscription. Which gives me a ton of anxiety. <laughs> so I had paid for like three months of Book of the Month that I never used. And when I called them, they were like, oh, you still have three credits that will expire if you don't use them. So I used all three of my remaining Book of the Month credits. And here's that box. I love this packaging. I love how like simple it is. Like it's just like, here they are. Oh, it says you've got great taste. Thank you, I know. The first one I got is Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is a, an adult, new adult, contemporary romance. I saw a lot of people get arcs of this at BookCon. I did not get an arc of this at BookCon. So I'm really excited to read this. It's like, the font is massive. Next, I have The Last Time I, I Lied by Riley Sagar. Um, I know this is a thriller. And I can't tell you what else this is about because I like to go into my thrillers knowing literally nothing. That's what it looks like. Nakey. And then I got, um, Cersei by Madeline Miller. I saw this as an option and I was like, holy fuck. I've wanted to read this for a really long time. I know Rhiannon really liked it. That's my little, my little book mail bit. Um, I listened to like a little over an hour of uh six of crows today like on my breaks and before work yeah i'm an hour and 50 minutes into six of crows so i'm gonna listen to that and cross stitch so i just looked in six of crows and where i am i am 59 pages in i'm really enjoying the audiobook i think that it is super engrossing i love having the different narrators for each character's Point of view i think that's super cool and then i also have the audiobook for crooked kingdom as well so i wanted to reread this before reading crooked kingdom i want to kind of mentally unwind so i don't really want to physically read right now i'm in the mood to listen to an audiobook and start a new cross stitch project i'm super excited i'll give you some progress updates here in a little bit i don't feel like filming my stitching right this second because like starting a new project is kind of boring but once I get kind of into my stitching rhythm I will film a little like time lapse of me listening to my audiobook and stitching. <laughs> so I'll check in here in a bit. I'm pretty sure the last thing I recorded like officially for this 24 hour readathon was me clocking out <laughs> on Monday and then I didn't show anything else and i feel like that would be a very abrupt ending if i just left it at that so i'm going to do a little um recap of what i read in the last 24 hours so first i read the last 127 pages i needed to finish caught on the hawk uh i absolutely adored every second of this book um i don't think i really gave you my final thoughts because i finished it and it was 3 a.m and i was like a bitch is tired and a bitch was me but this obviously got a full five stars from me i loved every second of it i just have been so 
ridiculously like exhausted from work and like had no motivation or drive to read anything for the entirety of this month and I don't know if that's just because I was in a huge come down from my Florida trip or what but I've just been not in a slump because there's so many things I want to read I just like have had such a lack of motivation the past few weeks. But once I like hunkered down and read the last 127 pages of this book, I was like weeping and having such a great time. So far, this is my favorite book of the year. No one's shocked, no one's surprised that I just continually eat Maggie Steve Otter's ass, I guess. And then I started my reread of Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. For the readathon, I got to chapter 14, which, is page 160 combined that's like a total of 287 pages in the span of 24 hours which isn't like monumental but I also worked a nine hour work day and got a little bit of sleep and went to a Street Fighter tournament with my friends and Ian all those things considered I'm really proud of myself considering it's been hard for me to even read like a page a day. I finally feel revitalized in my reading and thank you to Boston for like having the idea to do something so impromptu and including so much of us in this. It was so cool to be a part of the group chat on Twitter, the Danny DeVitos. I'm super jazzed that I partook in this. I know my vlog is not the most fun and it's probably only gonna be like 10 minutes long <laughs> because I'm a mess but it's fine. I had a really good time. I got some progress done. I decided to read books just with birds on the cover, I guess. Oh, by the way, it's now Wednesday. The read the 24 hour readathon took place on Monday. It is now Wednesday at 8.45 in the evening. That's a continuity error. It's fine, we'll leave it. But yeah, I had such a fun time. I would love to do more 24 hour readathons and more readathons in general. There's just something about the sense of community that comes with any form of readathon that really hypes me up and drives me to read. So if there's any cool readathons coming up soon, let me know. I know G from Book Roast is doing another magical readathon for the entire month of December. So I'm thinking on doing that. Ah. Yeah, that was this video. I hope you liked it. I know it was super all over the place and not the best content, but guess what? We still out here doing shit. <laughs> if you want to see more like reading vlogs that are like legitimate, let me know. They're some of my favorite things to film. Anyway, uh, my name is Morgan. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you took part in this little 24 hour readathon, let me know what your stats were. Um, if you finished any books, if you read so many pages, people that can read like hundreds of thousands of pages in 24 hours impress me to no end because I'm just not that bitch. Like I just can't do it. Um, I can if I have like the entire day off and like devoted to reading, but this was a 24 hour readathon amidst like having to live my life. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I keep doing this. I'm a fuck boy, I guess. <laughs> okay, bye.